I realize how many people are struggling with anxiety and depression and wanted to share with you a really amazing conversation I had with Jay Jackson, that MLB pitcher that James is catching for, uh, because he said some really powerful things that I thought were great that could serve some people today. So if you don't mind, I'm gonna be doing my makeup, killing two birds with one stone. So if you are um, ADD, you're gonna love the way I do this video. If not, fast forward. Um, and by the way, a majority of what I'm probably gonna be doing with my makeup is on my Amazon storefront. So I'll make sure I load it in there um, and so that I can talk through it. Um, first thing, fills in the cracks. It's cheap, awesome. I mix this, because I, I don't know how to do my makeup the right way. This with the, the Lumi Glotion hello and then I'm totally out of foundation right now it's in route um, I normally use the um, L to MD because it has uh, SPF in it but yeah I'm using concealer that came in an Etsy box okay um, at non Etsy uh, you know those of you guys that know anyway okay so what he said to me is he goes uh, he's going through a lot of ups and downs with all of the um, MLB holy cow how they keep taking him up, down, up, down from majors to minors. And the guy is killing it every time he's on the mound. And I have run the spreadsheet numbers. Yes, I have in one of my late nights going, what the freak? Like, how can you do the best? Like be one of the top in the league and still go down, get taken down and then taken up. And he's like getting the wins for the teams. Okay. Off that tangent. So when he was here, I think it was last week or the week before, I was just talking to him because I, I, you know, you know, we all go through times of distress and all that. And I was just asking him how he's doing. And the time before he was just not, you know, like I've never seen him down and not that he was down. He's just like, I'm 35. This is, this is rough. But then he's like happy the next day. I'm like, holy cow. Right. So, and yes, I should be using a sponge. I'm aware. No judgments. I'm not an influencer on makeup. So anyhow, um, he says, uh, he's, I said, well, you know, what's next? And you know, all these things that he's learning and all this. And I said, you know, you should write a book. And, and he goes, I know I have everybody tell me that. And I'm like, well, you know, you could voice record yourself. You could this and that. And he goes, oh, by the way, you see that shine? It's this. Anyway, um, so he goes, you know, Gwen, the thing about it is, is he goes, I have realized that I live in the moment. I enjoy the journey. And, you know, right at this moment, I'm a, a little struggling, but, uh, you know, not, not struggling. He just was kind of questioning it all. You know, it's all, all, all crazy. And he goes, but, you know, if I start writing my book and start voice memoing, I'm going to go live in the past of the experiences that have molded me to get me where I am. And he goes, and when you focus on the past, you fo it, it becomes depressing when it's, when you're telling the stories that molded you, they're hard stories. So he goes, I, I can't live in the past because it'll bring me down from all the bull crap that's gotten me to where I am. Cause we all go through hard things to get there. And he goes, so I don't really want to live in the past. And you know, right now when I'm actually doing what I want to do and and have my brain start going, yeah, that sucked. Yeah, that was hard, right? And I'm like, okay, that makes sense. And, and you know, then we kind of start talking about, you know, well, what's next? And he goes, that's the other thing is if I sit and think about what's next, um, oh, by the way, sorry. This is, I normally use Tarte Tape or Estee Lauder Double Wear. Um, and then normally if I, I'm also out of my um, setting spray, I normally would put setting spray on this just to make sure that it sets better. So he goes, you know, I go, well, you know, what's next, Jay? What, what do you think is going to be next for you? And you guys, there shouldn't be a discussion of what's next. This guy's numbers are the top in the league as a relief pitcher. Bah! Right? Again, sometimes you give it your all and it's not enough. That's life, right? So anyway, but he's in the majors again. So I, he goes, you know, Gwen, the thing is, is uh, and you guys, this was so powerful. Are you listening still? He says, Gwen, if I focus on what's next, now my foot's out the door. And I remember learning in, in a personal development course that I was taking one time, they talked about how when you live in the future of, um, you know, what if this, what if this, what if this, that creates anxiety because anxiety is the unknown of what's next. And so he goes, I have to, by the way, um, tartlet, um, tart, tartlet, this is the color that I use. Um, I don't know, uh, 
graceful. Um, so he goes, if I focus on what's next, my foot is out the door and I will, I'll be like every little thing that's negative will be huge where right now everything that's negative is just part of the journey right and so i thought that is so interesting because i know a lot of people like so so i'm going to recap what that was um and then this is um yeah i'm all over the place with all my makeup this is the julep beauty eyeshadow 101 um so he said um uh he goes you know, I have to stay in the moment because in the moment I can find joy and happiness. And his motto is, um, is smile. Like if you ever see Jay on the mound, he is smiling and holy cow. I don't know about you guys. If I was on the mound with all that pressure and getting put back and forth, majors, minors, majors, minors. Oh my heavens. I would not be able to smile. I'd be out there going, Kevin Costner, clear the mechanism clear the mechanism. You guys have seen the movie for the love of the game, right? So anyway, I just wanted to say that to many of you guys, because it's been in my head for quite a while about the, you know, I've always known the joy in the journey and it really put perspective in to, you know, how many of you are dealing with depression? And I'm saying this, um, you know, not like that depression is real. It's chemical, all that. But I also know that for a lot of us, when we think about what was, Oh, my life was so easier when that creates depression because you're sad about what was and we always make think life was was easier well maybe or we just uh, forgot some of the bad right I, I, I don't know it's it's interesting to think about and by the way this is the um, L'Oreal infallible eyeliner um, and it is the um, I'm pretty sure it's waterproof because my eyes right so I just, you know, I just sit, sat and thought about all the friends that I have that are going through a lot right now, and that's a lot of you. And so if you start noticing that you're feeling depressed, are you thinking about the past and what was and wishing it was better? And if you're dealing with anxiety, are you sitting there thinking about what what ifs? Oh my heavens. And by the way, um, this is a state, this is so not what this is for, this is eyeshadow, but I use it for, um, eyebrow. So anyway, my point is, is that I really, really just loved what he had to say about that because I realized how many of us sit in the what ifs, right? And if you're a parent, I'm going to throw this out there because it's been a kind of this funny, oh my gosh, funny conversation that I've been, um, having with, with other moms about our kids. And, um, my mom always says this thing about how, you are only as healthy emotionally as a mother as your least unhappy child. Okay, I'm going to say that again. You are only as happy as your least unhappy child. And I'm like, wow, right? That is so, so powerful. And by the way, I keep coming back to this. It's the Essence Lash Princess. Um, it coats your lashes. Um, it's cheap, whatever. Uh, I have a different one I love more. Um, love also. Um, so anyhow, um, but that's a thing I started asking some friends because um, I made this video a long time ago about uh, how often as moms do we go and watch our kids sleep. And not watch them, make sure they're breathing. And teenagers. And my son was like, what are you talking about? Are you crazy? And I'm like, and, and you know, it's interesting. I've never had a child die of SIDS. Luckily, I've never had a child die. And yet the fear is so real that my kids could be laying in their bed, not breathing, right? It, it, it's such a weird motherhood thing. And I've talked to a lot of moms asking them about this. If I'm like crazy, which I know I'm crazy. We're all crazy at some level. And how many moms feel that way? And then when their kids drive, how many times they're sitting there going, are the police gonna to come to my door and tell me my child was killed in a car accident, right? You know, and all these things for mothers, uh, and of course fathers too, but really mothers, There, there's a lot that we carry in that what if category. So I, I don't know if maybe that's the point of this video is that, you know, if don't let yourself live in the what if, cause oh my gosh, we're gonna be in that what if and we're gonna drive ourselves insane. So, you know, overall it's focus in the moment focus in what is and you're going to be so 
it's so much freer. By the way, Makeup by Mario, this is the medium sculpt, soft sculpt transforming skin enhancer for contour. And then really quick before I keep talking, this is the top seller on my Amazon storefront right now. Um, the Rare Beauty in Happy, and it, a lot little goes a long way. Um, so that's where, oh my gosh, that is in the wrong place. You're gonna die. This is not a beauty influencer video. Um, so anyway, I just, I just think it's so interesting the words of wisdom from him um, of stay focused on today. What can you control today? And I'd love for you guys to comment below if you're still watching, I know this is long. Um, what what are you, and maybe don't you don't have to put in the comments um, about what you are um, stressing about, but I really have found that the more women I talk to, because I talk to women, um, the more women I talk to about their life and what they're stressing about, they're all stressing about the past or the what ifs about their family, their kids, all of those things. And when you take Jay's situation, we all have hard, right? It's, it's, um, by the way, this is the Charlotte Tilbury pillow talk. If you don't have this, yes, it's expensive, but, uh, hold on. And yes, she has lipstick. And no, I don't use the lipstick. I just use this. And she does have gloss. I'm out of the gloss right now, so I use a different gloss. Do you see what that just did to my lips? I'm, my, my eyes? Whoa. Anyway, um, so, okay, last but not least, this is my second top seller on my Amazon storefront, the Buxom, and it is the color Dolly. Um, so my point is, is that Anxiety and depression are 100% real. Absolutely. But I also think many of us, myself included, if I get in that trap of focusing on the future and the what if, what if, what if, what if, or focusing on the past, like it was so much better, oh my heavens, I could drive myself insane. And so I think that like Jay's saying, you know, I feel like we all could be writing a book about our lives. We could, we're all going through things, but like he said, right now he is in it, right? And and most of us in life aren't like in it or out of it. Like, you know, let's hope Jay has five more years in the MLB because he's freaking killing it, right? Um, but but his his team hasn't all has hasn't seen his value, and I and I know there's a lot of people also living life where they're with people that don't see your value, and if that's you, I see you. Comment below. Like sometimes you need some people in your court that see you for who you are and your greatness instead of picking you apart for what you're not. And I know we are all, and someone said doing the, we are all humans and we are doing the best we can with the situation. So I find, I found it so interesting that he's like, Gwen, I know I'm writing my book, but I don't want to write it yet. And it's not that I don't want it to end. It's that I don't want to focus on the past and what was and all the stuff it's taken to get where I am. Cause that's, some of it's hard to re relive, but I also don't want to think about what's next because then that puts my one foot out the door. And as when I was a headhunter for companies that franchised, the minute that I would give somebody an opportunity that actually fit what they thought was going to be their future, every little thing at work, they picked apart and they were like, I can't stand this, I can't stand this. And then if they didn't get the job, not that they didn't like me, but they were like, oh, Gwen, I wish you'd never even called me because you now started making me think about what, what if, what, what I, what else I could have. And all the little things here were that. And, and I guess that's that grass is greener situation, you know, like is, is the grass really greener on the other side? And, you know, I always say, is it maybe, maybe not. And I, I, I don't ever think the grass is greener. You, you get a different set of problems with the, with the other side of the grass. Right. But the question is, is the problems that you have on your side of the grass, are they not good for you emotionally? Are they not supporting you? And you know, is the situation not making you a better person? So if you're in a situation where you are not in a situation where it's, you are being treated fairly, taken care of, meeting your needs, all that, then it doesn't matter what the color of the grass is, it's, it's time to move on and get what you need and see what that is but if you move because the grass is going to be greener and it's going to be better over there the grass is never better it's the same it's just a different color right so I know I've gone on a lot of different topics and now my makeup is done and as you can see definitely oh my gosh somebody that actually does makeup would die watching that whole thing but um I'll, it's all on my Amazon storefront 
But just wanted to say, if you're struggling, stay focused on today. Stay focused on your blessings, your gratitude, all the things that are you. Because you deserve to not be in the past or the future. You deserve to be in today and make today a fantastic day.